Hello there guys, it's Cool Fox over here, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the HS Pro V8E earbuds. Starting off with the unboxing, on the front you have a picture of the earbuds themselves. The sides have nothing written except for the supported formats on the top and a few features of the earbuds themselves. So here there is written that these obviously work through Bluetooth, they have a built-in microphone and according to the package itself they have a high fidelity stereo sound which I will talk about later on. On the back there are also no specifications written so all the specs are probably inside the manual itself inside of the box. So now getting straight into the unboxing you can see that you are greeted with a case with the earbuds inside which actually looks of really good quality, a charging cable on the side as well as an instruction manual and a card which says their emails and websites so if you want to contact them you can contact them through this card. Going through the manual quickly all you have written are the package contents and some information on how to connect it to your phone although this is obviously not really needed since these earbuds are just like any other bluetooth device and can be easily connected just through the bluetooth settings of your phone so there is nothing really to get worried about and here is a quick look at the card and as you can see they should have an online chat as well so they do have live chat according to this card and it also states that if you are satisfied you should share it with your friends obviously to get more sales for the product so now going on to the main thing inside the box this is the package itself and as I said before, it does look actually really good, it feels really well as well, it is pretty solid. If you drop this case, nothing will happen to headphones as, as this is very solidly built and I am a big fan of this case. Opening it up, you can see that there is a little mesh cover here with some extra ear tips included and the headphones themselves which are wrapped up in a cable tie. As you can see there are only 4 extra ear tips here, obviously for small and large since the medium tips are already installed and therefore you can easily change them on the headset itself. You also get a little clip to tie up the remaining cable if there is any slack. And now moving on to the earbuds, as you can see they look pretty good as well and this right here is also a design and not a button which is a bit of a shame really since this could have been easily utilized as a button but nonetheless you have the volume controls here the on off power button here and on the other side you have nothing so everything is controlled from the right earbud apart from that you do have markings here to see which one is left and which one is right and the ear hooks are also pretty solidly built so there is nothing really to complain about also the cable itself looks pretty well made, this does have a thin style cable and not a rounded style which should be better against tangles and crimps so this is a little bonus extra with the earbuds. After testing these out pretty extensively I can say that these have really good sound quality but I would recommend that you put an EQ on them. Now you might ask why I'm saying this and this is because they have really good bass but the mids and highs are lacking a bit compared to the bass. So I would recommend putting on an EQ such as this one that I will show you right now. So as you can see all I basically did is grab the normal EQ and boost up the 4kHz and the 14kHz and this will basically give the vocals a bit of a boost since that is in the 4kHz range, in the mids range and the highs are basically going to give the sound a bit more air which is really important in music. Now this is all up to personal preference anyways, so you might even prefer the default EQ on the earbuds themselves, but anyways this is what I would recommend. And even if you think that these have really good sound quality out of the box, I would recommend trying on an equalizer similar to this, or just mess around with the EQ until you get the perfect sound that you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This was Cool Fox, and I'm out. Peace.